Welcome to Ucanic. Today here in Ucanic we have a 2012 Subaru Impreza. On this we are going over the process to be able to remove your combination switches. To start with, before you do anything here, because it's the airbag, or we are working around the airbag system, you want to make sure that you have your battery, your 12 volt battery from your vehicle disconnected, and that you've given the time about 10-15 minutes to have the full vehicle de-energized and also hold your hand on the horn make sure that there is no power in there um, you're going to, want to just turn the steering wheel this way and you'll see there is a screw that will go right there do the same thing this way and there's a screw on that side and then we do keep the steering wheel you want to keep the orientation of your steering wheel pretty much in the middle so you would look at where your tires are and that they are straight forward and then once we've done that, then we should be able to just pull this, these two pieces apart. And the top comes off, and the bottom you may need to just release the lever that makes your steering wheel go in and out and up and down. And then we'll put the steering wheel all the way to the bottom, down, pulled towards us, and now spin it basically 90 degrees to the right and take a, a good long screwdriver or a pick tool I recommend a pick tool if, for your vehicle if you're gonna work on a lot of vehicles a good pick tool will come in handy you're gonna see the paddle shifters on this model and what we're looking for is there's a hole below the bottom of the paddle shifter on both sides that we need we can insert this in and with that cover off we have better access to get in there run right up along there and then just twist your um, your pick tool and we pop the top okay. and if you're getting a lot a lot of resistance then you're not uh, hitting the right um, thing there shouldn't be a major resistance we're just popping it off and then there's the one down here and this you're gonna take your tool you would take a flat screwdriver and you can stick it straight in and then the bottom one will pop off and now we'll go back to orient of uh, steering straight forward that comes more in handy later and now we'll be able to pop this fold this back we have one ground wire here to undo just unclip that and then these clips we need to pop up small screwdriver and very easily pop them up and then once they're the safety clip is up, you can pop these off. There you go. And now that is the center airbag removed on your steering wheel. And we're gonna set this down nice and easy and not to not have it deploy on us when we don't want it to. So with that off, we want to before we remove our steering wheel, we want to make sure that we have our tires in the straight um, forward and so that this is in center. And then we have to undo this bolt here. This bolt can be pretty tough to get undone. So you need a uh, long breaker bar or um, an impact wrench. And you might need a helper to help hold the steering wheel while you undo this. That one wasn't too bad. Some of them are pretty bad. Okay, so we got that undone. And now, because when we put this back on, we want to have it uh, mounted back on in the same, on the same splines that it was mounted on right now. So I've got a marker.
Do our best to give it a mark there so that we know where it goes when we put the steering wheel back on. Now we want to unhook this electric. We have one connector here and this connects right into the clock spring and then one connector here and those are all that we can unconnect because this is part of the clock spring which is your airbag. Uh, these what connect to the airbag. So we have those two electric connectors undone and all this electric here feeds your cruise control, your paddle shifts and all of that. So now with that undone, we'll be able to pull on the steering wheel. Again, it's it's got the splines on there, so it may take some uh, some force. Go. Just a bit of rock in it, and then we were able to get it to come undone. There, and so that's the steering wheel removed. Now we have our clock spring here. This clock spring, you will need to replace it if you have a lot of airbag lights on, and it can be caused by the, the tape inside here can't break. Or if your uh, center airbag has gone off, these clips, a lot of times they get melted because of the heat that's generated when that airbag goes off. And so they'll get melted into the, the unit. And so then these are no longer good. And so you'll need to replace the uh, clock spring itself. So once you get to here, I have some piece of tape here because we're getting to the combination switches um, so that this won't rotate. Um, we want to keep it where it was when we took the steering wheel off because we don't want to have it a revolution off and then that way when you turn you'll um, break the tape inside there and cause yourself some more issues so we need to undo the electric connector that's connecting here the bottom we got that one and we got to do this one more which is a yellow one This one has uh, two connections built into it to undo it. You slide this tab back and then you can press the unlock tab. So you slide that bottom piece, make sure we get that undone. And then to get the rest of the clock spring off, we have just little tabs, one on both sides on the bottom here. And then one on the top here. And then this hole. One more electric connector here. There we go. So with all three of those electric connectors undone and the tabs, we can now remove our clock spring and set that aside. So this is your combination switch for the turn indicators, headlights, and, and so forth. And then this side is the one for your windshield wiper and all the functions that you to for your windshield wipers to work this if you're having just problems with this you can replace just this piece as one unit and then this is the full unit on this side the turn in indicator and headlights now to get to this of course we have removed the uh the center airbag the steering wheel and the clock spring to get to this stage and now we'll be able to remove these components for replacement. We have one electric connector that goes to this side. Just press the tab, pull it down. We have two that go to this one. And we disconnect all of those electric connections. And then you can pull this off as one whole unit or we can pull and get this out of the way. So we just press the tab down in here in the middle and then we can remove this. And if you replace, if you need to just replace just this piece, this is um, all you'd have to do and put it, take your old one off, put your new one and snap it right back into place. So to get the rest of this off, right up here in the middle, we have a spring that we need to squeeze. And as we squeeze that spring together, um, we also need to use something 
to pop up. There's a, a black tab right below it, or just a tab, and we need to pop that up at the same time as we're squeezing this clamp. And now, be able to pull it off. And so that's the removal of this unit right there. All right, so here is the what it looks like from the back, and it would be flipped up like this. But what you're doing is you squeeze this to unclamp it, and then this is the tab that you would pull back, that little tab right there. We pull that back to be able to release it from the steering column. So that's how you get this undone and to be able to remove it off of your Subaru. And then when you're ready to put a new one back on, it's just the same in the reverse order. And that we don't need to really release the tab, we can actually just take it up over it, line it up, and then you just press it on because the clamp will open up as you're pressing it on. If it's not working, then the, just open it a bit and get it to line down and then lock the clamp back in place. And that has its little channels and grooves that's lined in too. There we go. And so then now we can put this portion of it back on, which we just slide into place, make the electric connections. And so that is the install and replacement of our combination switch. And now um, we have our clock spring. We have it taped so that it doesn't move um, because we don't want this to get off the rotation. You have two and a half rotations that can go to the right and two and a half rotations to go to the left. It actually gives us information that there's only five turns in this thing. And so if you have this off by one revolution, then what's gonna happen is when you go to turn, you're going to turn and you're going to turn too far and you're going to break the tape inside there and then um, your airbag light's going to come on, steering lights are going to come on and you'll have to replace this. Now, um, there's a couple things. We have a little arrow down here so it tells us where it should be and also you're going to have this orange little roller in here uh, on this model, this isn't on everything, but this has an orange roller and that if that's in the window Then you are in the right orientation of it being in the the center where it needs to be for when you uh, install it on your your steering wheel, so if it ever gets um, Out of clock being that this got rotated you know, these are the two marks that you'll want to mark up is that little arrow as well as you want that orange um, wheel that's in there to line up in the window. So with that being said, now we just take this and this is really just um, line it up and press and lock it into place. It's got tabs on the top, bottom, and side, or the two sides. Then clip it into place. Then we have all the electric connectors to plug in. This big uh, yellow one. Of your clock spring. And we still have everything lined up. We have our piece of tape here to continue to hold it where it needs to be. So once the clock spring is installed. Now you can go ahead and reinstall your steering wheel. When you're ready to do that. If you need to replace any of these components. They're separate. That they'll come off. And you just got to work and pop them off and undo um, screws and whatnot in the back to be able to pop those off, unhook the electrics, and then that way, you, if you need to replace your paddle shifters, you can replace those. Those are two screws, some electric connectors, and then these are just clips that are clamped on here with some electric connectors to replace any of these components if you need to. All right, so ready to install the steering wheel after replacing the combination switch and or if you needed to replace your clock spring and now uh, to install the steering wheel. So we still have our piece of tape on here to make sure that this stays aligned where we want it. Feed the uh, electric lines through here, these yellow ones, which go for the airbag. 
We want to feed those through there up at the top and then be able to line this up. And we did make our marks there and so we should be able to get this the spline to line up on our marks. I think we're pretty right there. And so that our steering wheel is straight up and all the unlined marks are are uh, aligned where we want them to be. Now you could uh, remove your piece of tape now and then we put our 17 millimeter nut on there and tighten that up. So we just make that good and snug and uh, so it because we don't want this to come off and then our steering will fall off. All right, make our electric connect connectors from the steering wheel to the clock spring mechanism that feeds all the information it needs. And so that would be the replacement of your steering wheel if you need to remove your steering wheel to replace anything behind it. And then when you're done with that, last thing we have is to put on the center airbag. Of course, we're still working with the battery completely disconnected from the vehicle and the car completely, um, the electronics de-energized. So to install this, we just need to line up the appropriate connectors. We have a ground one. That one just slides on and then it locks in. And then we have uh, color coded. This one goes in. And then these are, uh, press them in, press the yellow tab in, just uh, double lock it. And then we just line this up and press forward, just like you were going to hot the horn. And it presses those tabs aside and goes right in. And then it can't be removed unless you unlock it from the back. And so we've got the steering wheel installed. Last thing is when you put the little cover um, piece back on that covers this all up that you just put on and then turn your steering wheel and tighten the screw turn your steering wheel and tighten the screw on this side and so that would be the replacement of the components uh, and if you were doing any of the work inside the steering wheel uh, being clock spring combination switches center airbag and or steering wheel thanks for watching Nucanic where you can be the